Imagine a man going live on national TV and commenting on women's physical features. What would happen to him? He would be banned from all relevant organizations and would face a lot of public condemnation, right? Well, every human being indeed has a right to privacy and bodily autonomy. No one likes to hear a sexist, perverted comment about his or her physical features. Commenting upon a woman's bodily features is a sign of uncouth and uncivilized behavior. And there is no room for perverts like that in the society. But what about indecent comments on the bodies of men? Don't they have a sense of privacy and bodily autonomy? Should we not call out a woman making perverted comments about a man's physical features? We definitely should. But the sad truth is that society laughs off all such perverted incidents and women are often given a pass. Hi and welcome. You're watching TFI English, the national socio-political analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host Tribhuvan and in this video, I will tell you why Isa Guha needs to be punished for this supremely misaddressed comment. Let's begin. Ex-England cricketer and a famous commentator, Isa Guha is in news over a rather misaddressed remark that should have ideally been called out but is being laughed off casually. The incident exposes the hypocrisy of the society that calls out men who behave in an undignified manner with women but doesn't call out women who make supremely misaddressed remarks. Isa Guha is currently commentating on BBL 11. During a match between Melbourne Stars versus Sydney Thunder, Isa Guha formed part of the cricket panel along with ex-Australian cricketer Adam Gilchrist and another English commentator. The other English commentator was explaining the art of bowling, a good carom ball. He said, spin bowling coaching clinics where the head coach has said, you all know, you just show me your bowling hand. The guy or kid with longest middle finger was identified as a potential carom bowler. Suddenly, Isa Guha replied, how big is yours? The patently double meaning remark was followed by a burst of laughter from the commentary panel and the support staff. Remember how West Indies cricketer Chris Gale faced a lot of flack after the flirting incident. In 2016, Gale was interviewed by Mel McLaughlin, a reporter with the official broadcaster of the Big Bash League, after he was dismissed. When asked about his aggressive batting style, Gale had said, I wanted to come and have an interview with you as well. That's the reason why I'm here, just to see your eyes for the first time. It's nice soap. Hopefully, we can win this game and have a drink after. Don't blush, baby. The point is, while Gale was rightly criticized, Isa Guha's remark were loved off. And this is exactly what is wrong with society. Making remarks about aspects involving the privacy of women and classifying them according to their physical features has been normalized. It is time society accepts every man and gives appropriate respect to him, irrespective of his physical attributes. When shaming a woman over her physical attribute isn't acceptable, there is no reason why shaming a man over his physical attributes should be normalized. The sexism debate has started already in South Korea. This May, South Korean companies and organizations start pulling down advertisement, promotional campaigns and other online content after several complaints were made by men's rights organizations. The reason behind the outrage was the use of the offensive small penis symbols and representative images. The representative images that triggered controversy are variation of an emoji depicting hand where the thumb and the index finger pinch towards each other. In South Korea, such symbols are used to suggest a smaller size. The conservative society has generally shaped men to endure comments about their physical attributes casually. Even if they feel uncomfortable with certain remarks, societies around the world expect them to either laugh off such remarks or at least act as if it was okay. This has somehow become the definition of masculinity. However, you simply cannot subtract dignity and self-respect from an individual because it is the basic trait of human existence. The campaign against the use of misandrous symbols in South Korea is evidence that men too have physical dignity and they too have a right to speak about their dignity. It is time that the misandrous remarks are called out and those making them are pulled up for such inappropriate behavior.